Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Rukule from Eja Students in the Department of Food and Animal Sciences. I will be presenting on the fecal microbiome composition in beef cattle response to different bacterial systems. Background in this is the phase between weaning and feedlot, in which we feed our animals to improve their body condition. And this phase is very important in cattle production because it could have long term effect on animal performance. And understanding the microbiome changes during backgrounding is very, very important in predicting their performance. So the objectives of the study is to evaluate the fecal microbiome dynamics in calves under different backgrounding systems, and also to study the effect of backgrounding systems on average daily gain of beef calves. So our materials and methods, we used 38 wind calves in this experiment, and they were divided into three groups, which are the cover crop, dry lots, and the perennial pasture. These are the backgrounding groups. And after that, uh, they had high energy ration, which is the finishing. Then, the fecal samples were collected at each of the timeline, winning, backgrounding, and finishing. And it was, uh, the, the V4 region was uh, sequenced to know the bacteria population there. So the experimental site was uh, no central access station of the University of Minnesota, and the data was analyzed with SARS. So this is the nutritional composition of the experimental diets, the dry lots, the uh, perennial pasture, and cover crops. And this is for the finishing diets. There was significant difference in average daily gain of calves to backgrounding systems by time. So during uh, winning, there was not a significant difference, but backgrounding, cover crop has the least average daily gain. And at finishing, there was no significant difference. This shows that this average daily gain, low average daily gain for cover crops here, means that it can affect the animal's performance. The backgrounding system affects the animal's performance at that particular timeline. And this is the alpha diversity for the microbial population. At timeline one, which is winning, there was no significant difference. But at timeline two, there was significant difference with dry lots having the least uh, microbial population, bacterial population to be precise. And at finishing, there was no significant difference in the microbial population. So this shows that microbial population in ruminant animals, they are very, very important in showing uh, uh, their performance, in determining their performance. Likewise here, we have at timeline one, which is winning, there was a significant difference, but there was significant difference at timeline two, which responds very well to backgrounding systems. So this is the beta diversity. For cover crop, the, bac the bacteria, they, were, they converge, but at finishing, they diverge, they were sparse. But for dry, Lots the fecal uh, the, uh, bacteria population converge at a point, but at finishing they diverge. Likewise, this for the perennial pasture. This shows that backgrounding can affect the uh, microbial population of calves. So, in conclusion. Backgrounding system has impact on average daily gain of beef calves. Likewise, the fecal microbiome was modulated by backgrounding, which could be important in improving feeding strategies to improve animal performance. Of to improve animal performance. Thank you.